name's Grace. Welcome to another video. So a couple weeks ago I did this like biggest book haul of the year thingy mababa, right? Well now I'm back with another big book haul. I wasn't expecting so many books to come in the mail. I just sit at home, watch Gossip Girl, listen to Hamilton, eat food, and all these books arrive in the mail. And I'm like, oh, I should probably read all these. But first I want to show them all to you. Not only do I have a book haul, but I also have an unboxing. If you've been on this channel before, you probably know that unboxings are my specialty. I am quite good at them. Wow, I'm a great liar. Saying that unboxings are my specialty is like saying that I don't like reading. So first up, I have this and also this! This! Obviously, if I have a watercolor pan and a watercolor brush, then maybe I have an idea what this is gonna be. I feel like as I make more and more videos, I get more and more cheesy. Excuse my cheesiness. Right, da, 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 la, la. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. <gasps> this is so beautiful. This is Painterly Days, the pattern watercoloring book for adults by Christy Rice. This video is in partly being sponsored by Christy. For a second, before I show you some of my non-good painting skills, let's just appreciate this book. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I cannot wait to paint all of this. Thank you so much, Christy. I am, oh gosh, this has made my day. I don't know how all the other books in this haul are gonna top this. This is the first ever watercoloring book for adults, so don't be ashamed if you're coloring, because uh, it's for adults. I can't wait. I'm so excited. On to my demo. I promise I'm not a professional artist. I took art class once. Got an A in it, but I mean, everyone gets an A in art class, so does that really count? from Big Honcho Media. Ooh. So the first thing we have in here is a little passport with some blood on it. Ooh, mysterious. Is this a mystery book? Because it probably is. Fingerprints. Maybe I can like put these on my iPhone or something. Nah, probably not. And the book With Malice by Aline Cook. I believe this book is already out. Yes, yes, this book is already out. June 7th. It's past June 7th now. Next up, I have this triangular prism of a box. When this arrived in the mail, my mom was like, oh my god, someone sent you chocolates. Some of the boxes that have fancy chocolates in them come like this. But actually, this box is a little spoiler thing because it literally says the book on it. So I mean, there's like no surprise. I'm gonna open it now. I have Nemesis by Anna Banks. Anna Banks is the author of, of Poseidon, if you've heard of that. The princess in this book of five kingdoms did not expect to fall in love with her nemesis. Next up, I have this big box, and it's from Penguin Teen. I'm excited to see what is in this lovely box, so I'm just gonna open it. So the book we have in here is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. I've heard so many people rave about this book. I'm so glad I have an opportunity to read this now. Thank you so much, Penguin. There are some other goodies in here that I'm gonna show you now. We got some socks. I like socks. I like socks a lot. And we also have a map and lastly a candle. So this came in the mail 30 minutes ago and I'm dying to know what's inside. No more self-control. We're seeing what's in here. This book is Last Night a Superhero Saved My Life and this is an anthology with authors like Neil Gaiman and Judy Bacow. The idea of this book is to have readers connect with their favorite authors while authors connect with their favorite superheroes. I'm also listing a giveaway at this moment on my blog Fandom Monthly Magazine so be sure to check it out. You definitely want to I want a copy of this book. The link will be down below. That was the unboxing of this video, and now I'm going to have to clean up the tragic mess on my floor. But before I do that, we have some books to haul, and quite a lot of them. First up, I have this. This is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. You know how I wasn't able to go to BEA, so I was given an arc of this? Well, it was sent to me again! You know, life just gets better and better, because not only do I have a copy of this book, but I have two. Next up, I have a book that I've also featured on my channel before, and it is Girl in the Shadows by Gwenda Bond. I was also also sent a second copy of this book. There's actually also a giveaway for this book as well, which will be linked down below. This is a Cirque American story. It's about this girl who's 18 and ends up in Vegas while her dad is a very prosperous magician. I think this 
book will be a fun time. Next up, I have Hearts, Fingers, and Other Things to Cross by Katie Finn. Katie Finn is Morgan Matson's pen name. I loved how Morgan Matson blurbed her own book. So she said, this book is the perfect way to wrap up my favorite series. When the author is like saying this about her own book, I just found that so hilarious. And I was like, wow, that's such self promo, but that's also so brilliant. Next up, I have some booktube tours books. You may have heard of booktube tours. It's this thing that I run. First up, I have two books that are talked about quite frequently on booktube, and they are The Kiss of Deception and The Heart of Betrayal. The third book, The Beauty of Darkness, is coming out this August. There's going to be a tour for it, and I'm so excited. This tour is being put together by me and Fierce Reads. And then I have Genesis Girl by Jennifer Bardsley. You may follow her on Instagram. She's the YA gal, has a lot of Instagram followers, more followers than me. Famous bookstagrammer. And she's an author. How awesome is that? And this is a book about a girl who's special and valuable because she's never gone on the internet. I think that's so awesome because in our society today, our lives are so revolved around the internet. I'm on the internet right now talking to you. This is crazy. And if you would like to win a $30 Amazon gift card, there's a giveaway that goes along with this booktube tour that is going on right now. Be sure to go enter it because who doesn't want a free Amazon gift card? You can buy books with that. And next up, I have Finding London by Ellie Wade. This is an upcoming tour in August. I could marry this cover. This cover is beautiful. All my favorite colors, orange, purple, and pink. This cover designer knows what I want. And the last of the booktube tours, I have Curse of the Sphinx and Demigods and Monsters, both by Ray Wagner. These are Greek mythology books. The only Greek mythology books I've ever read are by Rick Riordan, the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series, as well as the Heroes of Olympus series. I'm very interested to see another take on Greek mythology. I feel like the only well-known one is obviously by Rick Riordan. I'm very intrigued. Oh, I love talking about upcoming releases. Let's talk about them. First, we have The Graces by Laura Eve, and this is a witch book. The last time I read a witch book, I think, was Sweet, and that was so long ago. I know there's Hex by Michelle Chris. I haven't gotten around to reading that yet. I love witch books, so I cannot wait to get to this. And this comes out in September. This comes out in October, and it is Iron Cast by Destiny Soria. This story follows a girl who is a child of immigrants. I love how the synopsis on this has a typo, I believe. It says, rife with magic and mobsters. Maybe monsters. Maybe. Uh, the next book. I know I'm going to butcher the author's last name, but it is Moresi by Maria Tershinov. I tried, I promise. This book is already out in other countries, but it's just coming to the U.S. So there you go, international people. You got something before us. This is an international sensation that has been published in 14 languages. And this is not the final cover, obviously. But this is the actual cover. And next up, we have a cover that's so artsy. I wish I could be this artsy. I wish my Instagram could be this artsy. The movie version by Emma Wunsch. We have this girl named Amelia, and her brother has always been the star of the family. But then her brother starts acting up, and she's asked to play a leading role in a play or movie by this cute new smart boyfriend. And so it's just a discovering yourself and coming age of story, which I'm definitely a sucker for. So I will be looking forward to that. Next up, I have Up in Flames by Abby Glines, which is a Rosemary Beach novel. I have not read any of the Rosemary Beach novels before, but if you look how tiny these are, I could probably marathon all of them and get to this. How good does that sound? Next, I have an absolutely stunning book. The Real Peter Pan by Pierce Dudgeon. This book is a take on Peter Pan, and it's a more tragic and, I guess, complex side, and it's about Peter Pan and the connection with his creator, Michael Lewin Davis, I believe. And I cannot wait to read something so intellectual because I really need an intellectual read and I feel like this is so right for me. Oh my God, am I Shakespeare yet? That was such a good rhyme, you know it. Next, I have The Hundred Lies of Lizzie Lovett by Chelsea Sadati. And I also have Labyrinth Lost by Zoreda Cordova. This one's coming out in September and this one's coming out in January. These books could not be more of polar opposites. This is about summoning dead spirits. And this is about finding someone in a mystery town. And their covers too, I mean, polar opposites. Next up, we have Never Missing, Never Found by Amanda Panich. This is about a girl who was kidnapped and then escaped. And then now her past is just catching up with her. This girl has got to run. Run, run, run. Oh, wait, I can't run. There's a wall right there. And lastly, I have Steeplejack by AJ Hartley. Oh my God. The dust jacket has so many different textures. I mean, there's like glossy and reflecty over here. And then there's matte. Why am I so obsessed with this? This is a historical fantasy, something that I've never read. And I'm all about getting into new genres. So I feel like this could be cool. It could be really cool or it could go really wrong. I'm really hoping that it'll go really right though. Oh my God, this is so difficult. This is my cardio of the day. You know, it's summer. You don't get too much exercise because you just sit inside and watch Netflix all the time. Oh my God, this is weightlifting. Oh, maybe I should do some squats. <laughs> I'm gonna make this work. I'm gonna make this work. Oh my God, oh my God. This is so, oh my God, my hair. <laughs> oh, what am I gonna do? Oh my God, no, no, no. Oh my God, that was an ember in the ashes, guys. <laughs> Did I burn off?
off the ice cream I just ate. Oh, I think I just did. Thank you so much for watching my book haul and unboxing. Please go enter all of the giveaways listed in the description box below. There are a ton of them. You can win a bunch of free stuff, take advantage of it because I stock a bunch of blogs and enter a bunch of giveaways and you know, benefits come out of it. So go enter some giveaways. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to be more, please subscribe to my channel. My name is Grace. I'll see you in the video. Bye!